Oh my gosh, what happened in here? So we're about to drill a hole up there. There's our hole. It's time for some upgrades. So one of the big things when I was out this weekend camping in my last video, I, for some reason, my phone had cell service, but my computer, Wi-Fi, nothing else did. So I wanna make sure I get the cell booster installed, and then we have some other fun stuff. Dash cam should be a quick, easy install up front. This install will require me climbing on the roof, so uh, fingers crossed everything goes well. To mount this, we're actually gonna have to drill through this because it doesn't match with the holes that are currently drilled in the Storyteller. So we're gonna do that outside. Good thing we have metal drill bits. So we're gonna be using these two screws to mount the paper towel holder, so I wanna make sure the girth is correct. In the back, you'll notice we got a few things going on still. What I really need to do is get my cell booster in here so I can work from this and have reliable internet. What I was told from Al is that they actually run the antenna cell booster through the back here. So I'm trying to figure out how I can get behind some of this panel. I think I'm gonna remove these. So I'm trying to be as safe as possible touching anything. I don't wanna mess with warranties. I'm not trying to integrate into anything Storyteller's done here. What I'm trying to do is drill my own holes and get around all the wiring and anything they've done. All right, so the issue we're running into, this is actually built for like poles and round stuff. I could put it on the ladder, but I would much rather have it somehow mounted like this. And so I'm trying to figure out, do I drill into the rack? It's gonna look stupid if I put it on here, I think. So I ordered this off Amazon. It's a rhino rack. The advantage is here. I can also fold the antenna over now. I am about to drill a hole in the roof of the sprinter and I'm slightly terrified. Let me show you the inside because it's a mess. With removing this, I'll talk about what we're going on over here in a little bit. I just needed to slide this whole panel down so that gave me roof access to get in a little bit. So I ended up going in from the roof and honestly, I don't think you're gonna be able to see it, but I nailed it. So the whole, you can see the light reflecting on my finger is like right here. So I got full access. I can easily run the cable in through here, right along with these cables. And we're fully installed and sealed. All right, before I put all the finishing touches, anyone who has a 2022 Storyteller, I wanna show you how I wired this. Because based on the installers I talked to too, this should be way more stealth. So I ran the cable behind here and then I ran it in through where the light switches are since you can remove the cabinets, had to remove the cabinets. And then so ultimately this antenna cable is gonna run underneath the cabinets, which are just Velcroed in down to the box here. Ran that up top in the corner here. The antenna will come out the top. The other antenna will go in the bottom here. I checked for space. This was safe to mount to, it's just plywood. Boom, when you remove the microwave, you get an extra outlet back here. Also, we hijacked this guy. So uh, this was running into the, quite honestly, trash Bluetooth speaker that they come with. I'll show you, I'm building a custom mount here and then I'll run just a USB off this. These are the exact cables Storyteller terminated. Just had to plug this guy in. Now I got 2.1 amp USBs, which should power a Bluetooth speaker right through here. All right, so right now we are underneath the passenger footwell. This is the fuse box. And what I'm trying to figure out is can I wire something in here? All right, so 30-4 we found should be always on through the battery, which is what I want, because I'm gonna use this for a parking sensor. If all goes well, when I touch this to the ground here, it should turn on. Look at that. Don't you love it when things work right on the first try? So security cam can go under here. We got it all relayed onto a fuse. I'll hook that up to the front here and then I'll show you how post install looks. Final install then, we route it through here. So you can't see it, comes up here, right it on the outside of this because there is a curtain airbag. That's gonna go up here. It's gonna come out here. I removed the visor here. So it's actually going up on the other side of this. And then it comes out through this little seam and we got it. All right, so we got things pretty ripped apart right now. So I wanna show you around. Right now we are installing the bar in storage up here from Radius. I did break one part. Be very careful with these. Basically I over tightened a screw. And so this actually snapped. This guy, crazy glue to the rescue. So hopefully this will hold. The problem is there's a lot of tension when you press the window in there. As long as I can get it in once and it doesn't snap, I don't really need to mess with the passenger window too much. This panel has been ripped off already. I wanted to see what was behind here. Um, did not mess with anything. Don't want to break the warranties or any of that. What I was trying to do is see, can I drill a hole to get up to the roof to run some cables? Good news is I think I can, so I can install an auxiliary box under that seat, hopefully run it up here and drill a hole to the roof. That's actually where the auxiliary one switch is going. 
Storyteller does give you an auxiliary switch here and that's wired to the roof. While we were doing that, my buddy sent me a video. And so I actually pop these doors so I can show you what I'm talking about. You can see the wool that Storyteller has stuffed in here. There's some Mercedes quality control issues right now. And before I put like tire carriers and stuff on the back. So coming to the back here. Basically, I'll post a private video and like, see how this is glued here? That's good. That's how it's supposed to be. These actually wiggle. This one is not, well, it doesn't seem glued, but it's not adhered. So all of these are wiggling around. I'm just gonna add some extra caulk in here before I close everything back up because it was easy enough to take these off. Now this is probably gonna be entertaining to watch. Hopefully I don't screw anything up. There we go. So this is a little bit frustrating. The way it's engineered, look how much that needs to stick beyond where that ends, right? Well, because the storyteller has this here, it's gonna put a lot of pressure right onto that plastic. So I'm gonna hope it fits, but right now it's kind of a pain trying to wiggle this in here. Doing a little speaker upgrade. Okay, so I don't know if I like this. I tried to install these just now and I have the tweeter facing this way, which is basically where your head would be. The problem is the wires aren't long enough in the van to fit here. Now, the only other thing to note is they do technically have the label facing this way. So maybe this is how I was supposed to install them anyway. Look at this view. And so what we're doing today is walking through all the upgrades I did this week. A lot of quality of life type upgrades. So starting off, we use the Rhino Rack Front Runner install that goes with our cell booster. This is the WeBoost, WeBoost RV booster. Um, really need to test it out, but from initial test, it seems pretty good. That runs to the interior of the van, obviously. This allowed me to use some old mounts that I had from my RCI rack on the Jeep. So for now, we're just reusing that, but the main critical things, Max Tracks cell booster, good to go. Looking in the back here, we only really have one new thing, and that is gonna be a shoe carrier. For any of you guys that know me, I'm a big sneakerhead, especially with how much I run, how much I do outdoors. I just, you know, it's nice to have the shoe for what you need. Up here we have our van compass. This is both interior and exterior recording. And that brings us to this roof rack. So I clearly don't have anything up here yet. We'll be putting gear, jackets, bedding, maybe whatever up here that I need to. You're not supposed to put more than like 10 pounds. But I love this one personally because this is all cloth material. It's stretchy, so you're not really going to bang your head. I've actually bumped a couple times on here. But then also this cutout is genius because you can fit in and out very easily without hitting your head. Super easy install. It was easy to put together. The only gripe was right here. It was a little difficult because this pushes out. Next up, this is our Radius Outfitters trash can. So well built. Honestly, it fits a 13 gallon bag it's only eight gallons in general there's also a small one this one seems to be perfect my only gripe is that it doesn't have a lid i wish it had some type of lid or something to go over the top i may have to figure that out myself dog bed my dog was terrified on the first trip sadly so this is about the best i could find these are 13 inch bolsters they come with straps on the bed so you can make sure it's secure we haven't gotten to test drive this yet these do strap to the back, so like this will slide a little bit, but it's not gonna fall off. It's not gonna go anywhere. And so hopefully she feels secure in that. You'll notice the Bluetooth speaker is missing. And the main reason I got this is entirely for this purpose. So it looks like a campfire. This is gonna look really cool. I have the mounts coming. So this will be mounted right here and then I'll be able to take it out. It will be charging a magnetic tip one, which is pretty cool. So. When it docks, it'll actually just attach and charge automatically. Super simple design. You may then also notice, which isn't fully set up yet, this is the spice rack holder. Again, I'll link this one, it's on Amazon. Got some <laughs> avocado oil, uh, paper towel holder. I'll be putting salt and pepper and other stuff up there as well. I don't know if this is an upgrade, but I wanted a small microfiber towel. I heard these are pretty good for van life. So we went ahead and grabbed this. Another Radius Designs. Uh, this one, I don't mind that it doesn't have a top. So this is their laundry bag. So that actually lets it breathe. For me, with how much I run, if you watch this channel and follow me, you know I run a ton, I sweat a lot. So having that breathability will be nice. That way to let the clothes kind of dry out and air out while they're in here. All right, so the other thing here then is gonna be a mirror that's Velcroed on. I might try to screw in somewhere here or somewhere here. I need to figure out if that's safe or not, before I do so. It's also worth noting the microwave will be going back in. So in the teardown, you can see we actually removed all of these shelves. I removed some of these panels to get back here. 
So you can't even see the cable. It's actually running here. This is the exterior antenna cable. Boom, here's the cell booster. What cables you are seeing. This is just the antenna interior cable. So this is how you actually pick up signal inside when you wanna boost it. So this is super easy. I can just drag it wherever I want. If I wanna work back here, if I wanna work up front there, I can put the antenna wherever I want. I really wanna to get to warm weather. I have a few things pending. I'm figuring out a wrap I can put on this because I wanna make it my own color. I wanna have some homage to Storyteller because I really like their design. Figuring out a wrap this week. Wheels and tires should ship this week, so I need to figure out delivery of those. Long way of saying I'm, I'm causing my own problems, but I'll be on the road soon. All these upgrades you saw today really make this feel like a home now to me. It's it's coming together super well. It's feeling like mine. I'm having reminiscence of my Jeep, which you guys know how much I love because I built that out myself. It's been super fun, this whole process of just installing things, figuring that out. That said, I can't wait for the performance upgrades, namely the winch. Having the winch is just such peace of mind when you're out on trails, when you're getting into areas which you're unfamiliar with. So if you made it this far, hit that thumbs up if you like this video subscribe to see more of this. I will be doing other content. Again, it's just the van's so new. I've had it for two weeks. I've got a lot I want to do. So that's a big focus of the content for now. And it'll sustain adventures for us. So hope you're having an awesome year so far. Can't believe it's already February. As always, guys, it's been a pleasure and I'll see you next time.